everyone. We're going to work three problems here, this one being the first one that you'd normally get in a pre-cal class. It says if tan of theta is 12 over 5, that means that's y over x, and our angle, theta, belongs to quadrant 3, what is sine and what is cosine of theta? So basically we know if our angle is in quadrant 3, that means both our x and our y are both negative. Now it says positive here, but two positives make a negative. So you could say that this is really negative 12 and negative 5. We know that sine is y over r, and cosine is x divided by r. So we know this is going to be negative 12 over r, and our x is going to be negative 5 over r. So if you know your triples, you know that your triples are 5, 12, 13. So that means your r is 13. If not, you're going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem and do x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So you're going to get 25 plus 144 equals 169. You square root that, so r is 13. r is always positive. Okay, so it's best to know your Pythagorean triples or triplets. Uh, especially for your SAT test. Now this one is cosecant. We know cosecant is r over y. It says our angle is in quadrant 2. That means our x is negative and our y is positive. Or you can write x is negative and y is positive. So cosine is x over r. My r is 6, and tan is y over x, and my y is 5, so it's 5 over x, and we don't have our x. So to find your x, we're going to do x squared plus y squared equals r squared. x we don't know. y is um, 6, so 6 squared is 36. And no, y is 25, y is 5, so y squared is 25, and then r is 6, so squared you get 36. So 36 minus uh, 25 equals 11, so x equals plus or minus square root of 11. Since our x is negative, we're going to take our x as negative square root of 11. So we have negative square root of 11 for our x, and down here, negative square root of 11. Now if you rationalize the denominator here, this would be negative 5 square root of 11 over 11. Just multiply by square root of 11 over square root of 11. And the last one we're going to do is this one. And so for this one, um, it's cotan, and cotan we know is x over y. And we know uh, sine is y over r, cosine is x over r. They didn't tell us on this one what quadrant we're in. So if x is negative and y is positive, if x is negative and y is positive, that means our angle is in quadrant 2. All right, so doesn't really matter because we already have our y is 3 and our x is uh, negative 2 square root of 10. So the only thing we do have to do is find our r. So we have negative 2 square root of 10 squared plus 3 squared equals r squared. Now this is 4 times 10 is 40 plus 3 squared is uh, 9 equals 49. So square root of 49 is 7. And r is always positive, so that's going to be 3 over 7. And um, ne uh, negative 2 square root of 10 over 7. And that's your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.